Who's first? You are! Woo, 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 woo. Chillin' chillin' in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt
I needed something, someone to trust in. Yeah, I needed something to get me through this life. Never saw you coming, and now we're just running. Yeah, you make me feel nothing when we're driving through the night. I've been looking all around at the places you and I were seeing so many different faces. We're just cruising right on through this life with the playlist, and everything is right. Never really thought I would make it. Found someone who I don't think I'll ever replace. And I'm empty in my heart, so you can just take it. I'm living my best life. And I feel so alive with you by my side. We can make a life. I've got nothing to hide. Driving so fast, every town pass. Never look back. Where could it be? Cause I feel so alive. Damn, you look good tonight. We're driving through rain, running through sun and looking at planes. We're cruising through towns, moving all around, but you stay the same. We like to run away, we're ditching all our pain and living for today. We're driving so fast, wanna make it last, we'll do it our way. And I feel good at night, full moon, the only light. You make me feel like I'm doing alright. I feel good inside. Hello. I'm sorry about the music earlier. Everything was thrown off because I, uh, because I ended. Coin Borf oh. Day. It's not my Borf Day. It is not my Borf Day. It is, that is incorrect. It is not my Borf Day. It is less than one week till Squeaker's Borf Day, though. No, 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 no. It is not my Borf Day. My Borf Day is, um, in less than four months, though. Less than four months. It's a me. Hi, guys. All right. Um, it's the last stream. The last stream before Coincation. Squeaker and Coin both days. God damn it. Just you. What? We're not and doing this again, this right? Why? God damn it. We're, we're not doing this again. Juicy, thank you so much Holy for the shit, tier one reason. I sorry. Happy Borf Day. I foregore. I foregore. I sorry. Oh, jeez. Juicy, thank you so much for the eight month resub for eight months train, in a row. Charlie. It's going to take us to there the Banana King. I don't see any train. All I see is a giant sneaker. It's the choo choo shoe, Charlie. The choo choo shoe. Hurry, Charlie. It's about to leave. Chugga, 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 choo choo. No, not again. Okay, good. All right, if 80 is out of commission, then, then yeah, no, we're not doing a level 20. No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry it's been a rough day, Juicy. Do what you gotta do to self-care. If you wanna join in with the game, you are more than welcome to, but if you just wanna sit back and vibe, please take care of yourself. Enjoy your lurkies. But yes, we are going to be playing King of the Castle tonight, um, and we're gonna be going for some noble wins and rebellion, because we haven't done, we. so you guys did a rebellion, but I squashed it. I was able to win. So I believe I've gotten all the uh, Monarch win achievements um, that are out there. So I think we need to go for some noble wins. So I say um, I'm going to role play the dumb as fuck Monarch who is super gullible. And if you guys just, you know, make me empty promises and convince me that I should vote your way then I will, even to my own detriment. I will do this. I will do this so that we can get some noble wins. You do have permission to rebel. Yes, you do. One million percent. We are going for noble wins and rebellion. So, <clears throat> chaos. Everything must descend into chaos um, because I'm achievement hunting. So, mm. um, but yes, it, it yes, exactly, Ader. That is me tonight. Yep. Well, now I don't want to rebel. Well, God damn it, Raven. Like, I'm giving you permission to chaos and rebel. I'm giving in the game, in the game, nowhere else, in the game, just the game. Um, because you know it's the last, it's the last stream before I go on vacation, and I'm not gonna see you guys for 
almost two weeks because I'm not streaming until the 15th. So it's 12 days without coin, 12 days with no stream. I don't know how I'm like, I'm going to have to come back and not know what the fuck to do. So there you go. Yeah, nice catch. Look, I lit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm already paying attention to, to that thing right there. Um, so, yeah. Um, I will say, don't forget that we do have a Discord night tomorrow night. I will be doing a game night. So, if you guys want to hang out with me before I leave, let's do a game night. Let's chill in the Discord. Let's play some, like, golf with friends. Or, or I think we'll probably start off with golf with your friends and then see where the evening takes us. Um, but we're going to have Discord night tomorrow night. And then I'm going to be doing laundry all day tomorrow. I finish all of my work today. So, I've sent out all my emails. I have one meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow because time zones. So um, I'm meeting with somebody at 9 a.m. tomorrow and then I am done forever. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of laundry tomorrow and a lot of packing. Uh, my goal is to have all the laundry and most of the packing done tomorrow so that Saturday I can just run a couple of last minute errands. Like I have to go pick up um, a refill of Bugs ADHD meds. Um, and uh, if there's any like other last minute things we need, I'll stop at the store and get those. And then it's just relaxing because we'll get up Sunday and get all the like last minute stuff. So like pillows and blankets, because I'm sorry if I'm going to a hotel, I'm going to take my own pillow. I know the kids are going to take their pillows and blankets because security items um, and, you know, like toothbrushes, hairbrushes, all that last minute toiletry stuff. So all of that will get packed set Sunday morning. Um or just do everything last minute. No, I can't. Like, it has been literally killing me to wait to start packing. It has been literally killing me. Um, especially because, like, Sturm got new luggage. Because our old luggage, um, we bought right before we got married. Uh, because we used it to go on our honeymoon. So, our old luggage is, like, seven, eight years old. Um, and uh, it had been through quite a few airplane trips and you know how they are with suitcases um and Damn, i forgot my boarding pass i'll just walk guys thank you so much for the uh the attempt at the hype train i appreciate it you got to see the choo choo shoe um so yeah so that luggage was falling apart some of the zippers were broken so stern bought new luggage in a beautiful shade of blue that i just love but they're hard shell but because those came, I'm like, man, I'm really excited to pack in this luggage, which I know is really lame. But hi, have you met me? Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited, but I also just want to get like as much done as possible because I want to like spend Saturday just kind of relaxing. And I want to I want to game. I want to game with Sturm. Um, I really want to play some more Icarus because I'm not planning on taking my laptop with me because like we're, we're going to be doing family vacation. There's not going to be time for gaming hopefully while I'm there. So meanwhile, I stress pack the day I drive. Oh no, it drives me absolutely nuts. I've got lists. Like I have, I do have a list on my laptop or on my Google drive of like everything that we need. And I've been constantly updating it um, to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything and really hoping I don't forget anything. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. This is the first vacation we've had since before COVID. So I figured you for a list packers because I don't want to forget anything. I'm so forgetful all the time. So like, I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget anything. It's different when it was like, if it, if it was just me and Sturm because we could probably like go out and get something. But there's certain things like Squeaker. Right now, her current obsession is this Minnie Mouse plushie. Okay, so she had this Minnie Mouse plushie. It's like yay big. Okay, and it had like a voice box in it and it would sing songs well she would had this for like a year or two i think but she started like tearing it apart and she tore all the stuffing out of it and i was like okay well we really should take this away from you well then she tore the the voice box out of it so there were just exposed wires i'm like well shit now we have to throw it away and she didn't seem to notice that it was gone for a while and then earlier this week she was like, where's my mini? I'm looking for my mini. Oh no, it's a mystery. Where did she go? So I took my happy little ass upstairs to Sturm and I said, I need you to push buttons. We need a replacement stat. So being the super dad that he is, he found 
not the it, 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 it's so it's the same thing, but it's like one of those things where it's been long enough that they've updated it. So it's the same thing, but the voice box was a little different. So we ordered that overnight. It got here yesterday. He took it out of the box. We turned off the voice thing because so she doesn't know if the voice thing works. And we gave it to her and she goes, oh, you found it. You found my mini. And she was so excited. Well, I'm sitting here before stream just on my phone and I hear her screaming and wailing in her bedroom. So I go in and I'm like, sweetheart, what's wrong? And she's just in tears, inconsolable with, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've lost it. I've lost it. And I was like, baby, what are you talking about? And she was just crying. And so I was like, are you looking for your mini? Did you lose your mini? And she goes, yes. Thankfully, Minnie was laying on the floor over by her bed. So I was like, baby, it's right over there. She's right by your bed. So she gets up and she goes, she goes, oh, my Minnie, you found it. Thank you. And she comes back over and curls up in my lap and she was fine. But like, it was very clearly a, well, shit, we've got to take that with us on <laughs> this week. That trick doesn't work for Kay. She has to open the toy and mess with the buttons. Yeah, I think it's because it like, it was the exact same toy. And so she knew it was already broken, I guess. So she didn't try and we turned it off before we gave it to her before she saw it. So I don't think she realizes that this one is new and works. What is on my shirt? What is that? It's a fuzz. It's a fuzz, okay. Actually, no, wait, what is that? What is on my shirt? Now it's gone. Is it a, sh maybe I was just seeing a shadow, whatever. That doesn't stop her either. Well, then I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> she can know it's broken and she'll try to fix it uh yeah well maybe squeaker just remembers that she tore out the voice box and we'll be lucky with that booba booba is on your shirt you know what that's true oh wait hold on i found the little fuzz i found it it's probably from the blanket but yes all right um oh there was a new thing that was added to the event list for next week uh that the mods are, are doing while i'm on quincation mrs fatal is going to be hosting some king of the castle games so y'all be able to do with the party the party game version of it um with mrs fatal as queen so someone other than me will be queen and get to know what it feels like we still have thursday and uh, that Sunday open, but I'm sure the mods will get that taken care of. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of fun stuff planned for next week. So if you want to hang out with anyone in the Discord when I would normally be streaming, or even when I won't be normally be streaming, check out all the stuff. All hail Queen Fatal. Wow. Wow. All hail M Queen Mrs. Fatal. But, you know, down with the monarchy when it's coin. Fatal Queen's quintessential quandary. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I'm glad that Mr. Fatal enjoyed the graphic that I made very quickly for that. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, I'm very excited um, for vacation. I am going to miss you guys. I am very much going to miss you guys. This is the first time I've been on vacation, like I said, on vacation for a few years. And it's definitely the first time in a long time I've been on vacation when I had like a job. Um, so I was very nervous about handing off all of my stuff um, for, for stack up. But on top of that, um we're currently hiring for um temps to join to basically work with me um so for the influencer relations team we're currently working through uh to to hire temps for the fall season um and apparently there's a lot a lot of applicants like 90 90 applicants uh, or 90 resumes that were submitted so we're supposed to be starting interviews next week and that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Tay and Perky have a lot to do. And I just, mm, I don't envy them. But that was like, I, I felt really bad because I was like, man, Tay's going to have to take over. Like if any of my streamers have problems while I'm gone and dealing with all of these interviews. Mr. Fatal wanted me to put my app in. I mean, if you have time, by all means, hurry up. Like applications, like we're, we're not accepting applications, I think, once the interviews begin. So... Um, how did I miss the graphic? I have to go find it. Oh, I didn't post it in the mod chat like I like I had did the other ones. I just updated it because I was working. So I like I took a I took five minutes real quick and made the graphic and then updated it and then went back to emails because I had um, about twenty emails to send out this afternoon for the Scream Reapers team that I'm scouting and working with. So that's probably why. 
But yeah, there. I mean, it's great to know that there's a lot of interest in the position. Um, and I know of at least one person that I work with um, as a sh that like is a streamer on my roster that applied, and I'm super hopeful that like they do well in the interview process because I think they'd be a joy to work with. Not for a temp position, if it was permanent, I could because I quit my current job. Yeah, <clears throat> Unfor like unfortunately, the way that it works is yeah, you um, they don't normally hire permanent. Like uh, eventually, the ideal is to have a permanent team. Um, but when it comes to the temps, you, you work, um, during the season and then there's the off season where if you choose to, you can volunteer your time, but you don't get paid for that. And that's, um, like the job runs, I think the first day is August 28th and the last day is August or um, December 8th. So, and then the spring season starts up in March. So it's, you know, it's, it's only a couple of months, but, um, the way that things worked out, I was part of the dream team and we got asked to uh, to go permanent right after one season. Normally they don't hire you, they don't consider you for permanent until you've done at least two seasons to make sure that you're comfortable enough in the job, but I guess we were just stellar. But yeah, it's it's a great it's a great it's definitely a great job. I love it. But I definitely could understand how it wouldn't be for everyone because there is a very much like a customer service side to it. And um, yeah, so but it's it's a great job and I'm super excited. I'm, I'm super excited to see who the new temps are. I'm actually I'm also just really excited for the training because last season uh, or so in the spring, I helped with training with the role play portions. That's so much fun. I was summoned. Oh, hi, Mr. Fatal. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, there's a lot going on and uh, August is going to be, th that's part of the reason why I said I wasn't going to do a stack up charity push um, for for August was just because it's too busy with um, vacation and then coming back from vacation, um, we got to start planning for the kids to get ready to start school again and then the new temps are coming on and helping with training and all of that. So I'm probably going to look at September. Maybe I might push it to October, but I know that we're going to be doing a longer one in November. Um, just because, I mean, Veterans Day. Um, and Veterans Day is a Saturday this year. Um, so I know I'm going to be chained to my desk all weekend because the, we're going to have a shit ton of events going on. So we'll see. Um, all right. I think that's all of my announcements and talky bits so I can shut up now and get this game open. Game. G game. Game. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. Good game. Good game. All right. All righty. All right. Continue. All right. Queen coin the second. Because I won. I forgot. All right, nobles, get in here. Wait, why are there crowd control coins? Why is that a thing? Why is that still there? Do I have to turn those off? I thought they only turned on when when crowd control was active. Do I have to? Oh, I have to turn those off. That's dumb. Hope you didn't just waste your points, Looney, because we're not doing a crowd control thing right now. There, they're turned off. Okay. Mm. Whew. All right. Perfect. See, this was my plan and it worked out. Hit it by mistake. Oh, no, you're fine. I just hope you didn't lose your points because I don't know if that actually um, transferred over because crowd control is not open right now. I didn't realize I had to turn those off. Okay, um, so we're good to start whenever. All right, um, since we're not at the start of a new dynasty, you can't, it doesn't really matter. Queso? Queso? You're a chief tonight. You're a chief tonight, Queso. Welcome in, how you doing? 
Also, the drops are active. Uh, tonight is the last night you can get the drop. So if you haven't gotten them already, you should get them tonight. All right. Ravens all by their lonesome. We have another patrician friend. So that Raven is not all by their lonesome. Because I don't think... Oh, Melodia is back. No worries, Fatal. Do what you got to do, friendo. You go get that school stuff. Go do it. Super proud of you, friendo. All right, I'm going to go... Ooh, we got stacked chiefs. We got stacked chiefs. All right, let's see what we've got here. You don't know how to play? Oh, Looney, it's super easy. So you join with your... So you do exclamation point, join, space, whatever pronoun you want, you, know, you prefer. So he, she, or they. And it puts you in. And then... Um, it will prompt you on the screen. It will give you things that you can vote on. And you just do exclamation point vote A, B, or C, or D, or whatever for whatever option. Um, so I'm playing as the monarch, and you guys are playing as nobles. And you are trying to overthrow me. And tonight we're achievement hunting for noble wins. Because I've gotten all of the uh, monarch win achievements. So, that's that. How is we were doing great, Orthane? Welcome back. A leaning tower of Cheesa. <laughs> oh, Looney, where did you end up? <gasps> oh, patrician. Raven, you have a patrician friend. Okay. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to introduce myself to the council real quick. Hello, chiefs. <gasps> good luck with us. In the, uh, uh, good luck in the days ahead, your greatness. You'll need to deal with us a lot. Indeed, I will. Counts. Oh, look at Stir in his witch hat with his book in honor to finally make your acquaintance your majesty i was dismayed to hear of your mother's passing yeah sure you were sure you were sturm sure you were and raven a pleasure your serene highness i hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign well the treasury ain't looking too hot so we'll see when will adir start in <laughs> start the start screen i don't know i'm not sure i think it might be because Stur when i don't join I think it's because Sturm joined first, and so maybe it gave him precedence then. I don't know. You love the Chiefs the most? Oh, I do? Why do I love the Chiefs the most? Why do I love them the most, Melodia? Did did they... Did they... Oh, oh, okay, I do. All right. Okay, okay. So Melodia's told me that I love the Chiefs, so apparently um, you guys have to buy my love. Or I'm helping the Chiefs. All right. Yep. So the council hall erupts because we throw grand banquets. Oh, is that why my mom gave you sapphires? Oh, that makes sense. All right. Coronation. You are you are an amazing monarch and love the pats more than the chiefs. Oh, I bought you bread today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, it's upstairs. Shit. We drank and sang into the night. That was my mom. That was my mom, Melodia. That was my mom. Your Majesty, you said last week you loved the Counts the most. Did I? Guys, that was my mom. That was totally different. I'm a new monarch. I'm a new monarch. You can't... Like, that was my mom. That was a new monarch. I'm a new monarch. You gotta woo me. Derm just brought me bread, so already he's winning. I have a bread bowl. I am just gonna eat the fucking bowl. We mean no fair. <laughs> Your mom was the gracious queen. She could hold her liquor. No, she couldn't. She insulted people. That was totally you. We talked before your coronation. I haven't. This is my coronation. So we're talking right now, Adir. I was a toddler back then. Insulted or assault. I insulted people, apparently. I said some really mean things about the other factions, apparently. All right, tradition. Um, should I change my waterproof robes? Maybe for the best. Shall we call the nobles in? Yes, we shall. Vote! How shall I be coronated? How shall I start my reign while I nom on some bridge? Oh, others took it as an insult? I don't remember. Look, I was drunk. My mom was drunk, okay? She doesn't remember. Now she's dead. But mom was drunk when that happened, okay? Oh, look at this bread bowl. 
Oh, the bread's all stale. God damn it. That's always what happens. The bread gets all stale so quickly. Oh, troops shall bear the queen through the streets to top a shield. Shit, son. Oh, Looney, so if you wanted to play the way that you do, you would vote. So you do exclamation point vote. What am I again? You are a patrician, so you're green with Raven. <clears throat> but you can vote for whatever you want. You guys haven't picked your scheme yet. So normally you're going to, like, we'll, we'll get to the schemes in a minute. So you can just pick whatever. But I'll wait and let you vote since you haven't played yet. <gasps> Mrs. Fatal, Mrs. Fatal. Oh, we got stacked chiefs. We got a stacked chief. We need Mr. Fatal in here when he's done with his school stuff. All right, Looney's throwing his lawn in with Raven. Mrs. Fatal, would you like to get a vote in? Tie anything up? A little fatal. Welcome, welcome. All right, so the chiefs have said. All right, bear the queen through the trees, the streets, uh, streets. Oh my god, atop a shield. <clears throat> okay. Soldiers from across the kingdom take part in the parade. They are even outfitted impressive new equipment for the occasion, which my mom probably paid for. Which, when they, oh, look at everybody's military. Going great. Oh, the North is now mediocre. Good for you guys. Good for you. Amazing. As you climb up onto the shield and hold your sword aloft, you realize... This is not going to be easy. Your arm quickly starts to hurt. Your soldiers, soldiers stagger and groan under your weight. I am a very, um, I am a very well-rounded queen. Yes. Sure enough, one of your shield bearers trips on a loose cobblestone and drops you face first in a puddle, in full view, in full, uh, yeah, in full view of half the city. At least the only thing hurt is your pride. <clears throat> Well, there you go. All right, path to victory. A mediocre, I hardly know her. <laughs> All right, let's see. Your Majesty, you have some big boots to fill. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to die, so it doesn't matter. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, th um, I think, yeah, I've won all of these, right? Sure, we'll do this one. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest if in the next few years you focus on improving trade. Yeah, once you have an heir, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to die, okay? That's the whole point of these runs. <clears throat> Katoka of the Adir Dynasty. Adir, look, it's you. It's your, this is your bastard that wants to usurp me. Hi, Calamari. Welcome back. Oh, where did you end up? Do we have another patrician? We do! The patricians are evening out. Perfect. Of course, he's of eight years lineage. There's a funny hat. <laughs> oh, my God. My fellows counts in ancient times. East of Stone Proud Kingdom. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it was. Queen, queen coin sucks. All right. Counts. Vote. So, uprising is an option. And I think, I think ascension was too. Hold on. I'll look. I know we haven't seen uprising. Uh, let's see. Counts for blood ritual. That's not one of the options. Ascension. Okay, so yeah, Uprising and Ascension. I don't think Uprising was actually one... Uh, I don't think there's actually an achievement for that one. But we haven't seen it, so I'm down. Okay, so you guys are gonna go with Uprising. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Counts plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the queen, to advance your scheme, raise the treasury to 2,000 or more. Good luck, it's not already done. Cause I'm poor, thanks mom. All right. Chiefs, Henny of the Melodia Lysander clan. Citizen Northern Troublemaker stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they speak, they're enunciating. Yep, you should be on the throne cause queen coin the second sucks. She sucks. Okay, um, chiefs. Chiefs, we need... 
Uh, Hornblower, which is not that one. Uh... Have, wait, have the chiefs... I think we've gotten all of the chief ones. So, Subterfuse or Prophecy, I guess? Because we've seen Doppelganger so many times. Yeah, the only one I'm seeing is Hornblower, and we I don't think we've ever gotten Hornblower. I don't think that's one we've ever seen before. Oh, Prophecy. Never mind. Prophecy is one that we haven't done yet. Okay, so Prophecy. Great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We haven't done Prophecy. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, Fatal Clover, where did you end up? Oh, your account! Your account with Adir and Sturb. Lil Fatal is a count. The vampire. All right, perfect. And then the last one's going to be the patricians. So let me see where the patricians will be. I'm going to pull up this thing so I can see. Um, <clears throat> okay. Patricians really need a win. You know what? I might just throw my lot in with the patricians because I don't think the patricians have ever won one. But I do want to make you guys, like, lavish me in compliments to try and gain my favor. You know, that would be great. All right. Um, advanced game, raise authority to five or more. That's already there. All right. Patricians. Livia of the Calamari family. Eccentric coastal entrepreneur. Scribbles on a well with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk. Explaining in measured prose. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, queen coin, the second sex. She sucks. Okay, so sorcery we haven't seen. Um, I think pretty much every single one of the patricians one we haven't seen. Yeah, Monopoly. Um, yeah. Monopoly's the only one that has a, an achievement? What? Oh, Monopoly is the only one that has an achievement. Well, that's... Bu oh, wait, no. There's Conspiracy. Okay. Yeah, the only one I'm seeing that has an achievement is Monopoly. Oh, okay. There's Corruption. All right, yeah. There we go. Right, 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 right. Oh, right, because Intimidation can be, like, any... I forgot. Intimidation can be any... Um... <clears throat> can be any faction that's why sorcery is legit impossible on sun games uh this is one of those rare times where it could be possible what do you mean it's it's impossible king hawk welcome back what makes it impossible farming requirement is so hard to get down oh that's fair okay i could see that i could see that King Hawk, where are you? Oh, Patrician. Oh, we're almost evening out our teams. This is amazing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Raise own trade. Oof, you guys are fine. Patrician's plan to privatize his entire damn kingdom. All right. Raise your trade to five or more. Pff, they're fine. So really the only ones that have to do any work are the counts. And I'm kind of on board with that. Give me money to spend. Damn it, I'm a rich person. <laughs> the patricians have never won. So we are going through and we are achievement hunting for noble wins because I, as the, mon as the monarch, have gotten all the achieve all the uh, monarch achievements for win for winning. So I want to try and get some uh, some noble wins. Um, we've also never had a successful rebellion. Like they've rebelled once, but I was able to squash it. Um so I want to so like I'm planning to lose tonight. I'm planning to lose tonight. And the way that I'm gonna do this is you guys are just going to argue and vie for my favor and tell me I'm pretty and give me cookies and bread. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good for me. That sounds good for me. Um... Uh, we're gonna go for... I'll go for that one. Emotional support bridge? Yeah. 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 Hi, Sarah Bear. Welcome in. Okay. So let's see. Uh, a petitioner from afar. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Your Majesty, there is a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. Praise be to Nipla, Queen of Bread, Gay, and Booba. Heck yeah. What does she want? 
You'll see soon enough, your majesty. Oh shit, there's an achievement for marrying her, I think. I think there's an achievement for marrying her that I don't have. Hold on, let me look. Hold on, I'm being an achievement whore. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I need to check. I need to check. Do I have this? Because I, I could have sworn that marrying the pirate queen. Wait, there's a pirate queen? Wait, is that her? No. Wait, what? Oh, you married Ori. Okay, so yeah, there is one to marry her. I might have to do that. I don't know how you do that. All right. Where are you from? Distant shores, your majesty. I prefer to keep my exact origins a secret. Who are you exactly? I am but a humble ship's captain, once of great renown. But that was a different time. Not a pirate then? No, your majesty. Never would I countenance that thought. Okay. Tell me more about this proposition. I'm good but tired. Well, rest up. Achievement whore away. I will. Three ships are docked in the harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They are all yours in return for a small favor. Um, And what would I do? What is this favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom while you're with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any accidents. All right, what'd you do? I don't know what you mean, your majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. You will forgive me, I hope. Hmm. Going to the gym. Okay, punk, have fun. Seems legit. Yeah, well, apparently there's um there's uh, there's an achievement to, to marry her, so I kind of want that. I kind of want that. Um. I, I want... Okay, so I'm gonna go this, so, um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. I I want to I want to try to woo her. I want to try to woo her. Let her stay, then coin can bang. Yes. Yeah, guys, get me laid. Get me laid. Because my mom can't bother me. My mom is dead, so my mom can't judge me about like what I want to do and who I want to marry. It'll just be the chancellor, and I can walk all over him. It's fine. Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. Guess this is a good thing I planned to do that from the start. You want three tens? Oh. <laughs> you want <laughs> Perfect. Look at that unanimous. Unanimous vote. Oh, damn. Damn. Raise it by two. Arita and her weapons prove most useful in the coming months. She and her crew train your officers as promised. Oreed demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at 500 yards. The council clearly made the right decision. Put my military up and my faith down. Yeah, you got a long way to go on your faith thing. Look, I'm sorry that my mom um, sent missionaries. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my mom sent missionaries. She's such a bitch. Oh, no. So, Mimat, Mimat. I also want the monarchy overthrown. We are achievement hunting for noble wins and rebellions because I've gotten all of the noble, I've gotten all the monarch wins. So heck yeah. All right, a prediction. Yo, look, it's Lil Fatal. Look at Lil Fatal. Your Highness, excellent news from beyond the sky. As your grace knows, I am an amateur astronomer. I have seen that a solar eclipse is on its way, visible from the east. We must encourage the kingdom to gather beneath the dark sun and experience this once-in-a-lifetime event. <gasps> okay, cool! I don't know why there's such a tickle on my throat. Mother of mountains, nay! Oh, it's Queso. Queso, you read a buzzkill. An eclipse is a warning from the ninth god, a sign that the kingdom has fallen into shadow. All the nobles start talking at once. Some are excited, some are horrified, but all are... Very loud. Okay, um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Um... You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Yep. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for this one. I'm gonna vote for this one. Alright, go. We're gonna watch it and everyone will go blind because they don't know you gotta have glasses. Well, they're dumb. They're dumb. Okay, they're very dumb. They are super dumb. And that's a them problem. Not a me problem. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed... The, okay, I was gonna say, I enjoy the fact that all of these votes are going to be unanimous. 
The calamari just had to be different. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. Listen, y'all are gonna be pissed and I don't care. <gasps> Encourage visitors to the east to witness the event. There you go, guys. By the old god, you shouldn't be encouraging this nonsense. Oh, pipe down, Queso, my god. As word gets out about the impending solar event, visitors from across the kingdom drift over to the east. Oh, look, your tray can't go any higher, it's fine. Honor guard, time to piss off more people. Okay, this is where you guys have to, oh. Oh, this would be perfect if they let me do a tournament. If they let me do a tournament, that would be the best. Although it does say that, like, if I if I if like if I favor somebody, then they'll win. Okay, so who what like who should I pick? Who's who's gonna who's gonna buy me? Who should I pick to be my honor guard? As is tradition, each region offers a selection of elite guards: the chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes, the counts with the knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose, and the patricians offer their greatest gladiators, champions of the arena. You love poetry, don't you? I brought bread. You did, but it's stale. It's stale. What goes better with bread than poetry? Wine? Cheese? Butter? Peanut butter. Because you let it sit all day? Excuse me. No, I didn't. You got home this afternoon, and I didn't want to spoil my dinner. To choose the Chiefs, of course. Why, Melodia? But why? Chiefs, because we got the highest defiance. Yeah, but if I pick you guys, you'll go down to a two. <coughs> down to a two, and then both of these will go up to a three. I helped in Hades yesterday giving sandwiches and boons. <gasps> you know what? That is true. That is true. And Mrs. Fatal kept throwing butterfly balls of death at me, and she's she's a chief. She's a chief. That's true, Melodia, but Mrs. F oh, I killed a lot of enemies for you. Yes, but Mrs. Fatal also made a lot of those enemies. But at least it's not a fort. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> and summon nothing but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. 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 Mm. But this is in Hades. That is very true, Willie. That is very true. That is very true. Huh. Huh. Mm. Who should I pick? Let's see. You know what? I think I gotta go with the Counts simply because they haven't already met the first stage of their um of their their scheme. The Chiefs and the Patricians already have. They're good to go. Strong and mighty, that is true. That is true. But I feel like I feel like I should help out the counts because they're the underdog here. They're the underdog. Look at them. They they have to and they they have to raise my money. You know, you guys already have check marks. I feel like right now I should help out the underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Pats will forever be the underdog. That is true. You guys have never won, but you're honest, you're off to a, st a strong start. You're off to a strong start. So I think, I think, should I help the updog? No, nah, this is not me match channel. No, this is my channel. Updog doesn't do shit here. Nope. 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 Eastern Knights. Boom. Make arrangements at once. Okay, there you go, Knights. There you go. What's updog? There is no way you don't know what updog is. You, er, there is, oh, uh, wait. God damn it. <laughs> hey, Queso, what's up, dog? There you go, Adir. That's up, dog. Oh, the knights arrive a few weeks later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I've got knights that have that give me poetry with my bread. I just did my own punchline like a boss. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Time to spend y'all's money. Time to spend y'all's money. So what are you gonna do? Okay, so nobody's gonna go for the stadium because they don't wanna they don't wanna lower military. Um, nobody's gonna go for the cathedral because they don't want to up faith. Um, the chiefs definitely aren't gonna go for the uh, for the negative authority. They might go for the monument because they want the authority to stay up. Trade would be good. The patricians would then get a ten. 
And, you know, yeah, there, there's really no downsides here. So, you know, like, have fun, guys. Spend your muns. Spend your muns. Build me some shit. Build me some things. Build me some things. I do still have bread, though. And this one shouldn't be stale. Also, I can't really blame Sturm for the bread bowl being stale because I feel like that's more of a Panera thing. <laughs> All of my zero months. There you go. Blame Panera for sure. Heck yeah. Like... This should be fine for like two hours. Like in it, it was wrapped up. It was wrapped up. And it's still still. This one's definitely hard as a rock because that wasn't wrapped up. But like the bread bowl was wrapped up. That should be fine. This I've had for a week sitting on this table, but it's been wrapped up and it's still super soft. So. Really want garlic bread now? This would be really good with like some of that. Um, what's that place? Uh, Carabas? Where they have that like. Um, where they have that. Uh, it's like oil, butter, and herb. Cal, the real MVP. <laughs> Preser preservatives? Oh, um, no. I don't think there's any. I think this is just. Yeah, this is artist the rustic oven. I don't remember what a pres oh, oh, oh. sorbic acid. Okay, so calcium prop propionate and sorbic acid. Wait, yeah, uh, to preserve freshness. So uh, yeah, there you go. I love Krabas. We used to go there all the time. Um, my stepbrother, um, his family really liked Carabas. So like every time we went out for somebody's birthday, it was usually to Carabas. Your power just went out. That happened to me last night. Twice. It ended stream abruptly. That's why my music was fucked up this month today. <laughs> Solar discovery. Oh, the eclipse, the eclipse. Here we go. Patrician King Hawk. You are serene highness while scouting the east for a prime eclipse viewing spot. My servants discovered a portal. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I love their muscle pasta, but it's super expensive. That makes sense. Yeah. I haven't been to Carabas in a long time. It's a shimmering shadow hanging in the air about the size of a door. We threw a rock in it and it returned as a slab of polished obsidian. Is that good? How should I know? Naturally, I sent one of my servants through next. Oh, God, what did they come back as? They saw a red wasteland beneath a sky whose color defied description. I recall a tale from my childhood of such a land where fairy beings gave vast riches to those brave enough to visit. Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's a little fatal. I have to figure out how to make garlic bread now. I have a recipe and a bread maker. Serm keeps reminding me that I have a bread maker. Um, but I've got a recipe for garlic bread. <clears throat> new event yeah i think so i don't think we've actually done this because i think when we did when we've seen the eclipse before it's usually um we we don't like encourage visitors so this is i think it's different riches you say this portal is on my land so i have the rights to any riches it may contain but i discovered it well my servants did great treasure lies beyond i am sure of it okay so here so uh okay so we get to decide who owns the land um, whoever has the money should hire the adventurer to explore. Oh. Hmm. Who's got money? Lil' Fatal does? They both do. They both have money. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have a, I don't really have a, uh, I don't really have a dog in this fight. So you know what? Go ahead, pick who should get the portal. Nobles. Look at Mrs. Fatal. Siding with her son. 
such a good mom. And Looney's like, nah, heck the rest of the patricians. Go a little fatal. <laughs> love it. Love it. I mean, he does own the land. He do. He do, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Vote Raven. Raven, you no. Not an option. Incorrect. All right, Count Fatal owns the land. The Counts are delighted and start making preparations immediately. The kingdom awaits to hear what riches or horrors are f within. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? If Mr. Fatal does wind up joining us, we'll have a Fatal in each faction. Because we have Mrs. Fatal in the Chiefs, we have Lil' Fatal in the Counts, and then Mr. Fatal would be a patrician. But I want riches because I'm poor. Well, that's because of your poor life choices. Do better. Do better. You're a patrician, for God's sakes. Meanwhile, complaints from the patricians grow as the eclipse draws near. And me, 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 me. Okay, a private exchange. The Kurth captain that allowed you to that you allowed to stay in the capital, the one who traded those weapons, she has been the cause of some concern. Oh, really? Nobles have complained that she has been rude and unconfrontational. She does not know royal etiquette, after all. I fucked up. I didn't even betray my faction. Oh, no, Looney, you're fine. It's okay. <laughs> Worse, some suspect her of being a Kurth spy. Very well, I'll have a word. Who cares if she's rude, quote, a bang? Maybe that's, maybe that's my kink. You don't know. Don't yuck my yum. You find her read pacing the halls far from her assigned chambers. Can I help? Kurth bounty hunters landed in the coast not long ago. And? They're looking for me. I did not expect them to come here. Clearly, I was wrong. You'll be fine if you stay with me. Are you sure? I am the queen. There is nowhere safer. Hmm, very well. I hope my trust is not misplaced. It is not! I will care for you! Alright, finding his- Oh wait, if I marry her, does that keep her safe? Hold on, hold on. Is that my in? Is that my in if I marry her? If I marry her, does that keep her safe? Does she become safe and bang me? Yeah. Your majesty, it's important you find a spouse. <laughs> Shut up. Um. Annie, I don't give a shit. All right, yep, cool. Just a thought little Fatal should get a chance to. Oh, no, you're good. You are totally fine, Looney. You don't have to justify. We're having fun. All right, end the season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's time for the progression. Okay, here we go. A congregation of God speakers huddle around the ta uh, the tablets tailing the supposedly ancient story, whispering excitedly. Oh, God speaker. Damn, what a name. Praise Morgana. The tablets are genuine. Maybe it'll give her amnesty. That's what I was thinking. Like, if she marries me... Then the gods are good, and we are blessed. Penny will be our monarch. All hail the Lord, Render. Okay, calm down. <clears throat> Tears circle the clan hall. A mug of ale is tipped over Henny's head. The people of the north are rising. Rahala's warriors have already pledged themselves to us. Oh, look. Damn. This is like prime rebellion territory. I don't like that. Amnest titties. Nice. Nice word, but very clever wordplay. Very clever wordplay, Queso. <clears throat> the influence of the old, old gods is spreading. We must ensure we keep the old ways of the North alive, and surely Morgana will bless us with the power to crown Henny. For the next stage, the Chiefs must lower their faith to four or less. Y'all got your work cut out for you there. Damn. You're gonna get your wish, Melodia. We have a long way. Don't worry. I'll try to help where I can. Perched atop a hill in a remote eastern wilderness sits a dark, austere castle. At the top of the tallest tower, Count Adir and his co-conspirators can be found deep in their cups. King, thanks a lot, Koi the First, right? What a bitch. Words are the only things that I play with constantly. <laughs> Damn your mom and her missionaries, right? Oh, we are going to do it. We are heathens. Yep. It's not enough. The peasants couldn't care less about the queen or her hoarded wealth. How are we supposed to incite an uprising in this climate? We should start by ensuring the queen actually has some wealth to flaunt. See, Sturm's got the right idea. He's smart. He's smart. Adir, that is why 
he gets the front page. That's why he gets the intro. Because he's the big brains. Your character is not the big brains. Koiga, I'm calling your character dumb. Yes, yes I am. The game did not give your character big brains. They gave Sturm big brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A shame the queen seems determined to be destitute. Mission position is not very strong here. <laughs> no, oh no, it's... Hello. <laughs> She's gonna kill you in Minecraft. <laughs> Perhaps she's just really bad with money. No, I haven't had any money-making opportunity. Shut up. All right, raise the treasury to two or more. You know what'll raise the treasury to two or more? Taxes. <laughs> Taxes. You know what? I can afford to do this. I can afford to do that. Look, look, look. If I do that, I'll be well over the 2,000. I'm doing this to help you guys. I'm doing this to help. Look at me. I'm helping. Look at me! I helped, Counts. Look, look, now you've hit your goal. Now you've hit your goal. I'm so helpful. I am the best. I'm the best. I'm the best monarch. The elderly chief, Marhata. Marasha, I don't know, whatever. The elderly chief, a cousin many times removed of Chief Melodia, died in her sleep last week. She was nearly 90, would you believe? Cool, and why are you telling me this? She was very wealthy, Your Majesty. Oh, I see. But she could have spent more time on her account. She died without a will, and the nobles are scrabbling for her estate. She was my relative. I wrote to her at least once a year. Of course the estate should be mine. And then Raven. <laughs> it's funnier because Raven's got no money. <laughs> Actually, no. No, they've got money now. They've got money now because they got some from their uh, from their investments or whatever during t the tax thing. But Raven has no money. <laughs> My late great grandfather used to play back out of uh, backgammon with her. He swore she intended to leave it to our family, which is completely asinine. I'm sorry, it is. That's a pitiful claim. I agree, Melodia. I agree. I agree. I agree. I definitely back up off my inheritance. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. You know, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Um, you rude. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna veto this one. And then, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, actually, you know what? You know what? You know, no, no, no. Um, I, you know what, I, I do side with Melodia. I'm sorry, Raven, I do side with Melodia. Her claim is much stronger than yours. So yeah, I do side with Melodia. Part of me very much wants to claim the estate for the treasury, but I decided not to do that. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Sturm and Aedir are like, no, fuck it, take the money. Take the fucking, but the audacity, the gumption, the gall. <laughs> it's my money and I want it now. We can build an orphanage there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> 877 cash now. Zyze, welcome back. Where did you end up? Wait, you were with us before. So, oh, okay. Account. Oh, we have even teams. We have even teams. Back up off it, off of it, you rat bastards! <laughs> oh, oh, jeez! It here means a blood bank. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like Melodia is getting it. Melodia, you get your muns. You get your muns. Noble Patrician Raven shakes their head, muttering with their friends about favoritism in the council. Sorry. Oh, look, I've got money anyway. Sweet. But Chief Melodia and the other chiefs are delighted. They even send you and the treasurer a gift basket as a token of their appreciation. Oh, well, that's just, that's just dandy. Although this is a problem. You trust the situation is resolved. All right, all right. So the only thing, the only thing here, um, I very much want to see if I can marry Oreed 
and get that achievement because I do know that it is like it's a random chance that she shows shows up. So if you guys do hit the point where you're able to get the rebellion. Yeah, I know bounty hunters. I'm going to do that one next. Um, if you guys do get to a point where you're able to start a rebellion, if at all possible, can we wait until I've married her and then you guys can rebel? Like if that's at all possible. Okay. Okay. Bounty hunters. Let's go. I'm down. Yes. Cause I love like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not trying to win this one. So like hands down, not trying to win this one, but I am trying to achieve my hunt. Your majesty. These good folk are bounty hunters representing the Republic of Kurth. They say Queen Cohen, we greet you humbly. All right. May I help you? We are searching for someone, a fugitive. You might say last we heard she went by the name. Oh, Reed. Um, I'm afraid she is under my protection, as we feared. Still, perhaps we can work out a deal? The Grand Pensionary of Kurth is offering a large bounty for the return of this woman, and we are sure that with an esteemed qu queen such as yourself would not risk drawing Kurth's ire. Listen, I took over my mom murdered the Ashmedian Empire, so I think we're good right now. Have you seen our military? It's pretty beefy. So, you know, I can be bribed to hold off on rebelling, but I don't see those on the screen. <laughs> As, oh wait, oh, hold on, hold on, I got you, I got you, Eater, hold on, hold on, I got this, hold on, I got this, I got this, give me just, give me, give me just a damn second, hold on, I got this, oh, wait, wow, they're real big, hold on, haha, <laughs> that's what she said, hold on, they're real big, why are they so big, oh my gosh, this is obnoxious, hold on, hold on, hold on, the cookies, yeah, okay, Eater, here you go, here's the bribery, here you go, all right, there you go. Here you go, Adir. Giant cookies? Fuck yeah. It's the only kind I make. I sent Adir a bunch of these, actually. So there you go. Let me marry the fugitive before you rebel, please. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Cool. Cool. Give me something to hold on to. Um, cookies. Cookies. Okay, awesome. Cool. Great. Thanks, Adir. As proof of our goodwill, we will even allow you to keep the firearms that were stolen. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, no. Um. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna we're not gonna do that, but I don't know which of these would be the best one to do. This one, like, I don't know how this would, I don't, um, I don't know if, if doing this one would fuck it up, like, ugh, I don't know if that would fuck, fuck it up with her. I don't know. Someone else, how would that work out? I don't fucking know. I don't know. It would up your military. It would up everybody's military, which I know everyone's real obsessed about. So, I just, I don't know. I'm going B. I think refuse to just want to find out. I do, but I don't because I want to marry her. And I don't know if this is going to, I don't know if this will fuck it up. Hold on, Looney. I, ha I haven't started the vote yet. What do we think? Um, should I Google? Should I Google? Because I did, I did that with the, fi with the fish guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How to marry a reed in king of the castle hold on hold on let me see that doesn't say that doesn't say that doesn't say Kurt Carswell, yes this one this one this one how do i do it damn it that just tells me what the achievement is i know what the fucking achievement is how do i do it how do i do it god damn it it doesn't tell me well i'm i'm fucked Vote B. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna go with Stir. All right, all right. Refuse the bounty hunter's offer. We're refusing. She's mine. I will protect her. I protect. Think she would make her angry? Possibly. But I don't know, honestly. If we get the achievement and we come across a read in another playthrough, we can definitely try out C and see what happens. Okay. 
The bounty hunters protest and they and leave only when you threaten to have them thrown out. Their parting words contain chilling warnings of Kurth's retri retribution, which you hope are only idle threats. Bring it, bitch! Oh. Eligible options. I don't want to marry any of them. Yeah, what if I don't want to marry any of them? That's the decision that can wait till after you've seen them, isn't it? Yeah, fine. Fine. Okay, so who do we have? Kestrid, firstborn daughter of the Northern Mrs. Fatal clan. Okay, Fatal Butterfly. She's been a melancholy sort ever since she was a child, but otherwise she's decent enough company. I do like, she's got a very, like, that's a very strong profile. This is a beautiful daughter, Mrs. Fatal. She keeps the company of witch women and god speakers who have taught her mysterious secrets. She's an incredibly driven person by all accounts. Gets up to the crack of at the crack of dawn each morning and goes for a swim in a frozen lake. Wow, okay. Damn. Sylvia, the eldest heir of the Eastern Z Oh, Z's Dynasty. In their youth, they ran off and tried to join a circus. Oh, nope. Okay, we're done. Found them in the end. Thank the ninth. Yeah, nope. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. No circus for me. Nope. Nope. We're done. I don't care. I do not care. Nope. We're done. Finally, from the coast, we have Maurice. I hate your name. The wealthy heir to Lord Patrician Looney's estate. I mean, just look at him. Oh. God damn it. God damn it. Man, if I wasn't already committed to trying to marry a Reed. Not the silver, right? Not the silver tongue. He's got a silver tongue. He's got silver hair. And a silver tongue. God damn it, man. If I wasn't already trying to marry a, a Reed. Uh, she's a pirate. She said she wasn't a pirate. I asked her. Oh, what that tongue do? Many things. Many things. Well, unfortunately, I'm trying to marry a Reed. So, so, so. Unfortunately, um, yep, I, uh, I, I have made my decision. I refuse to marry any of them. Without a marriage, you're alone. That's fine. Um, I want to party. Yep, you can't question me. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, you all, you guys are madge. You guys are madge. It's fine. I got, <laughs> you're madge, but it's fine. It's fine. I, I have to be free so that I can marry a Reed. Okay, good. There you go. Count eight years. Keep once more. Oh, good. Look, look, I helped. Look at me. I taxed and I helped. The serfs are getting rowdy and it's all thanks to us. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, there was, I, I helped a little bit. Now that they know how much wealth the queen's hiding, they're itching to get rid of her. Careful we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or they'll start asking questions about our wealth as well. See, big brain, big brain. Big brain. Yes, now it's time to incite some real chaos, which is what Adir does best. Show them that Queen Coin II is not only greedy, she's utterly incompetent, too. Counts must lower stability to four or less. Well, you guys are on your way there. This wine and these cookies certainly sated my appetite while we get the kindly peasants round up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... Yeah, let's do anonymous voting. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Let's do that just for shits and giggles. Let's do that. Not that it really matters. A matter of faith. OMG, what's this? Hold on. An irksome legacy. What? Your Majesty, about the treasures of the late Chief Marhata. I heard there was a necklace of rubies amongst them. Where's the necklace now? It is of the utmost importance. Is it really... Um, I would assume Melodia has it. And she will have no idea of the danger by the ninth. Oh my god. A frail monk in the seventh century wrote, wrote of a ruby necklace that drove those around it to sin. You have a sinful necklace, Melodia. Use it. Um, I believe the late chief, what's her name, had it in her collection. After all this time, it may have surfaced. Okay. Um... And this proof seems flimsy. The High Inquisitor draws herself to her full height and fixes you with a steely glare. Hmm. Wait, is it on sub or follow only? 
There's no way it's on sub only, is it? Hold on, are we? I turned it off. <gasps> oh shit, you know what it did? It's because it wasn't in, it was, oh, son of a bitch. It's because the, it's because the, the power went out last night and it didn't, oh no. Oh no, we've been on sub only mode the entire time. Oh my God, I feel like such a bitch. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know, thank you, Asba. Yeah, because of the crash. We are, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Thank you, Asma, for letting me know. Thank you so much. And thank you, um, Mrs. Fatal, for turning it off. Shit. I didn't even think about that. My music was fucked up. Chat was fucked up. Damn. This is why we make sure people aren't nakies. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's also why I put that redeem there because I would never have thought about it. I would never have known. Thank you. Did you have that redeem? Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, yeah, I'm so sorry. The power went out last night. Is that so for me? Willie, thank you. Really? Wow. <laughs> I'm, wow. Thank you for giving yourself to Asba. Asba, there you go. Now you have your Sir Emos and your ad free viewing, and you have a subby so you can chat in sub only mode when, you know, I forget to turn it off. Yeah. No. So what happened? Um, my power went out twice last night, and so I had to end stream sooner than I was able to. And I have those uh, the those things tied to my stream deck buttons. So like, hold on, can I pick this up real quick? Yeah. So like my stream deck, um, I've got a like this is my lights, this is my start button, and this is my end button, and it's a multi action so that when I hit those buttons, when I hit start. It starts like my music and it starts my stream, starts the recording, but it also turns off sub only mode. And I put the channel in sub only mode um, when I'm offline because of the whole like hate raids thing um, and all that. So if somebody's going to try and get me in trouble with my channel by posting hateful shit, they're going to pay me money first and I'll have a record of it. But um, so that encourages or discourages a lot of things. And so when I end stream, I turn it on. And when I uh, when I start stream, it toggles it it toggles it. And so what must have happened is because I didn't properly end stream last night, I didn't turn it into sub only mode. So then when I started stream, it turned it onto sub only mode. I am so sorry. I feel like such a bitch because I did not know. Damn. Well, good, now it's fixed. And thankfully because of all the craziness from the hype train on Tuesday, um, <laughs> most people I believe that were hanging out with us Wound up getting subs, so it worked out. <laughs> mm. All right, so she's glaring at me like a bitch. You doubt the word of a 7th century monk who was known for his wisdom? Yes. The necklace should be destroyed. It could be tested, but the holy reagents would be expensive. Well, that's a you problem. You call the council to discuss the situation. Chief Melodia looks exceedingly anxious. I'm sure there's no reason to seize this necklace. Your greatness. Surely the High Inquisitor is mistaken. Is that your fault? You didn't know. I know, but I still feel bad. You might have said no. Yeah, no, it's that's one thing that's frustrating. I wish that to, like if you follow and you're subbed, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't have any idea. I wish that there was another like more obvious way to know that. OK. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to veto this. I'm not turning it over. Um, you guys can choose which of these. I don't want to pay for it. That's bullshit. But you guys can choose which of these happens. So y'all can choose. Y'all can choose which of those happens. But she can't have the necklace. I'm not going to hand it over. Also, 500 isn't that expensive. It's mine, bitch. <laughs> Asba, welcome to the patricians. Alrighty. Ignore her. Fuck you, lady. You dismiss the High Inquisitor and return to your duties. Oh, but the stability challenge failed. Are we just letting counts get all their schemes? No, I mean, we're going for... I'm, I'm helping nobles, essentially. Because I've gotten all of the monarch wins. 
Mr. Roo, long time no see. How are you? So I'm not necessarily like going for the counts to win, if that makes sense. But like, I'm not trying to win. I'm trying, I'm specifically trying not to get a monarch win. I'm literally just telling her she can't have my necklace. Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty much. And we all pretty much always hate the High Inquisitor. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. But word gets around somehow. As wilder rumors spread, the people cling to the church for safety. <gasps> the High Inquisitor denies letting the story out. Oh, that bitch. That fucking bitch. Oh, you're scolding the other patricians for not voting? <gasps> How dare patricians get your shit together. No faith rising? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, yeah. I'm doing okay, Mr. Rue. I'm getting ready to go on uh, on vacation. This is my last stream before vacation. How are you doing? I hate her. Can I kill her? Melodia, if that's an option, I will help you. I will hold her down and give you a knife. Time for the Inquisitor to find out about the Spanish Inquisition gun. Oh, damn. <laughs> Some even say that the necklace has possessed Chief Melodia and taken her soul. <gasps> Gasp. Noble Patrician Raven and the rest of the Patricians are disgusted with the situation. They openly criticize your judgment in giving the estate to Melodia in the first place. Damn. Okay, so we're in rebellion territory now. I haven't married really? a Reed yet, though. Really? Oh, Willie, thank you. Wow. I'm... Wow. Vacation, what's that? It's this um, novel idea that you stop working for an extended period of time and go, um, go away to somewhere nice that isn't home. He's working six hours tomorrow instead, uh, instead of eight, so I'm happy for that. Nice. I'm technically done with work. I have one more meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, which ugh, I have one, but it's one meeting. It should be over quickly. I'm otherwise done with all of my work. Um, so I'm going to be doing laundry, cleaning, and packing tomorrow. No one expects the end of the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> uh, oh, a missing noble. Uh-oh. 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 In the capital, the solar eclipse does little except make the day a little gray. But the east is a different story. Your august majesty. I love saying august majesty. The moment the sun went dark, Count Fatal, <gasps> Count Little Fatal entered the shadow portal and vanished. I'm not sure what he expected would happen, but I warned the council of his, his ineptitude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, well. Uh, well. Anonymous voting. How are we getting them back? Mrs. Fatal, your son went into a portal. He went into a portal. <laughs> I won't vote since it happens to me. No, you can vote. You can vote, little fatal. You're fine. Look at all that anonymous voting. You guys can read chat, but I'm not paying attention to it. Damn it! What damn it? Send a rel oh, I have to pay. Okay, all right, we're gonna. I'm, I'm, Mrs. Fatal. I love you so much. I am going to fund the expedition to go and rescue your son, who is of a different faction. Just so you know. All right, the portal shimmers dormant in the air for three days before flinging out the corpse of the adventurer at an incredible speed. Count Fatal then emerges in perfect physical health. Oh, good, he's fine. He's fine. No one answered me. What was your question? Vaca I did answer you. I said what a vacation was. I totes did. Hooray! I just paid 1,200 coins for nothing. I'm glad you're safe, little fatal. I, beings of air, not voices, ideas, wanted forever. Look, whoa, okay. Um, physical health, good. Mental health, maybe not so much. Look, 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 look. Okay, I'm looking. What? God, you sound like pumpkin. He passes a hand over the floor and jewels erupt from the flagstones, cracking them open like a glittering earthquake. Soon the ground is awash with priceless crystals. Uh, 
I was at a casino all day today and I left, but I'm debating if I should go home or to another casino. I mean, if you've got the money to spend, like if you're okay with lo like, uh, you always walk into a casino expecting to lose. So like, if you're okay with losing, then sure, go have fun. Oh no, the economy. No, it's fine. What's 1200 where you could have priceless crystals? Well, I don't know. He swoons to the ground as more jewels emerge. After sleeping for four days straight, he awakes once more, having lost his new ability and much of his memory. Still, the crystals remain, though Count Fatal, Lil Fatal becomes known as an eccentric sword. Walking only with arms extended, palms facing the ground, the Counts prosper. Aw, oh, man, y'all got to keep that money. I didn't get to sh I didn't get shit. I didn't get shit. You guys got rich off of that. Damn, look at here. Hey, look at that! Fuck! Y'all be rolling in it! God damn! Damn! Oh my god! Yeah, Adi are loaded. Adi, are you looking for a sugar baby? My damn. Matter of faith. I don't care. Oh, hi, Willie. Your Majesty, there are northern citizens scattered throughout the kingdom with nowhere to pay homage to their gods. Time to tax counts. Fuck yeah, it is. I need the gold to invest in peasant schools. Okay, Adir. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, if I tax you cruelly, it's because I am going to build um, better peasant schools. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go, to go make food. Go make food. Go make noms. Um, would it kill you to build a few temples of the old gods outside the north? They don't have to be big temples. Um, good point. Yeah, sure. I knew you would understand. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Go for it. Monarchs vote. Let them build as many fucking temples as they want. Let them build as many as they want. Build your temples. Make Melodia happy. <laughs> Need someone to spend that money? Just slide that money. <laughs> slide me that money and watch it disappear. <laughs> Yes, yes, bring down the faith. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, no. It is done. It is done. Let them build as many fucking temples as they want. The gods are good. At last, things are looking up for the north. Indeed, they are. The chiefs pool their wealth and build pagan temples throughout the kingdom. The church is understandably outraged. Well, they can suck my butt. I can't go against the will of the council, but I look forward to watching you heathens burn in the southern he seven hells. Okay, <laughs> okay lady. Uh, okay. All right, lady. Cool. 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 In a dingy seed, uh, uh, dingy, ding. I always say dingy. Dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Coast economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Boop, sir, snoot. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. Come here, sir. I know. Boop. Maybe I'll finally get a tan there. <laughs> All right. Uh, money breeds money. I've made a series of investments to improve our profits even more. But what do we do with all the rest of this gold? Damn, y'all got money too. Fuck, everybody's so rich. Everybody's richer than me. I've only got $14.49. Literally the only per people that I am, I'm, I'm richer than Willy, Queso, and Raven. Everyone else in the kingdom is richer than the treasury. Damn. A damn. A damn. It cost a lot of my inheritance, but it was worth it. Time to start buying things, of course. Land, roads, bridges. We'll buy up the whole kingdom piece by piece. But first, the queen must be desperate in need of our gold. I am! Um, give me money to advance their scheme. Patricians must lower the. Oh well, there you go. Look at you, patricians. The treasury is broke. No, it's it's not broke. But I'm not. Do I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not wealthy. Mom was not very good with money, so we didn't start off in the best situation. I am apparently no better. It's fine. No way you're poorer than me. I am, Looney. I am. Stop trying to make fetch. Look at you. It's not going to happen. Excuse me, dear butler. <laughs> Fetch another bag of gold out of the safe. Make that two. One for the peasants' housing, one for the parchment. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, forgot about that. <laughs> did you, did you actually? All right, Patricia's on the verge of rebellion. I still haven't married O'Reed, though. I knew fast enough. God, where is she? Curious cause. What? 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 A giant glass globe filled to the brim with murky water is wheeled before the council. The fishbowl contains Lord Patrician Asba, Asba suspended in liquid. He pokes his head above the surface. Your serene highness, glub glub. I a uh, most infuriating circumstance has befallen me, glub glub. Um, I can see that. I have been glub glub cursed by a sea wizard. He afflicted me with these glub glub gills. So I can't leave the water for more than a couple of glub glub minutes. All right, what'd you do to piss him off? I happen to own a tannery that this glub glub polluting some picturesque beach he likes. How was I supposed to glub glub no? I'm demanding you arrest this maniac and force him to remove these gills. Mm hmm, 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 yeah, I don't, uh, I'm going to go with this one, but you guys do whatever you want. You guys do what you want. You can't speak today. Apparently you've got gills. It's very difficult to speak. Campro fine wine and cheeses. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mr. Reed, did you join? I just want to see what ha what a hamper full of cheese looks like. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, shit. Soon enough, a sea wizard appears before the council. As he walks in, seawater sloshes at his feet, welling up from the ground itself. What do you want from me? Uh, we need you to reverse the curse afflicting Lord Patrician Asba. That's Hagrid. <laughs> and why would I do a thing like that? His tannery is ruining my favorite beach. I didn't. I don't curse for nothing. Um. Hmm. Hold on. I hear a pumpkin screaming. Let me make sure her music is still going. Oh no, it is. She's just mad about. Okay, cool. I have no idea how it works. I'm on mobile, so I don't know if I can... You can. I don't know how difficult it is to play on mobile. Don't let me say a fish person. Hmm. 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 I don't want to pay for it, though. This is bad for me. Um. Pay him? Melodia, I'm poor. Melodia, I'm poor. But it would lower the defiance. All right. There you go. There you go. All right, well, they're less angry at me now. You know, come to think of it, the coast is long and winding and with many hidden beaches. The wizard's flesh bulges and ripples and turns suddenly to water, splashing down in your corridor. He's left you with quite the cleanup job. Pfft, he's left it for my servants. Defiance must go down. I need to marry O'Reed. Lord Patrician Asba appears in the council hall a few days later, back to his old self, though he has a case of the hiccups that persists for several months. All right, explosion at the port. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, your majesty, a ship exploded at the port. The water swelled like a tidal wave and my whole town was devastated. Uh, how could this happen? I have no idea, your esteemed highness. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurth yesterday and now my docks have been destroyed. Oh, depths below. Well, that's unfortunate. If I may. Yes, spymaster. This may be the promised retribution from Kurth. Retribution? This is an attack. You cannot let this stand, your majesty. All right, cool. What are we doing? Is the sea wizard angry again? No, 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 no. That was Kurth because we didn't give them a read. Because I am trying to bang her. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like, where is Ori during all this? Uh, I think she's at the palace. 
I think she's at the palace with me because she's under my protection. We going to work? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I feel like this might be like B might be the best option because it gets her involved, but also it does raise the military. <laughs> I'm in danger. So would this be like I've? Would that be the best one to do? Because I think it's either that or A. You claim dad joke? Yeah, it, it posted one in the chat. Dermatologists are always in a hurry. They spend all day making rash decisions. Sounds like it. Okay, so let's go for B. So I'm going to just go ahead and veto D. But I think we can go for B and that might, that might, uh, that might make her happy. I hope it does. I hope that makes her happy. Daddy, chill. All right, cool. Ader, you got one too many E's. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me fix pumpkin real quick. She very angry. She doesn't want to be in bed right now, so I'm turning on Blue's Clues. We'll see if that uh, settles her. Okay, voting has closed. Commander Reed to patrol the coast in her gunship. Okay, Reed is summoned from her quarters post haste. When you tell her your plan, she is more than willing to accept and immediately sets sail. In between patrol, she even trains your other captains how to fight against Kurt's cannons. Fuck yeah. Over the coming months, trade ships from both sides come under attack. Skirmishes on the open sea between the kingdom and the Republican na uh, na navies. Oh my god. Become commonplace. With no one willing to give in, the conflict will continue for the foreseeable future. At least you have a read on your side. There we go. It's a long game here. All right. Uh, a new festival question mark? Your Majesty, I was going through the history books and found the most interesting tidbit. During the reign of Queen... What's her name? The kingdom held a huge parade in honor of all the regions coming together. It was called the Day of Kinship, and it was quite the party. All right. Uh, a festival is eight, lots of drinking and dancing. Yes, but it isn't just about that. With all the visitors who came to the capital, the city flourished. I hear it made things much more harmonious across the kingdom, too. Let's party? Fuck yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about that command. I forgot about that command. <laughs> Alter drinking and dancing, the chiefs are in. Fuck yeah. I never need a reason to party. Let's do it. Yeah, that, that's what I want to say. I'm too poor. I'm too poor. I can't do the festival. I'm too poor. I'm too poor. Because I paid to freaking unfishify Aspa. I would give you money. I appreciate it. Can we crowdfund? I don't think we have the funds or the time. Maybe we could have a small party in the royal palace then. Just something to recognize Queen Ega's achievements. Oh, that would be lovely. I'll arrange the food. Okay. Um. Uh, I hope I'm invited. Of course you are. And I'm sure the spy master can sort out the invitations. Okay, we have a small one. A small party. I blame the patricians. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that and I also had to spend 1,200 gold to save little Fatal, who was fine. I, lo I, I lost 1,200 gold and an adventure, and I didn't even get a cut of the money that little Fatal came back with. Don't worry, the Chiefs bring the party and the booze. Yeah. The two of them hurry away, deep in conversation. Okay, cool. All right, and the season. 
Oh, it's auction time. Okay. Um, I think we Gucci. I come out. We're too poor to party. Yeah, we're too poor to party, Raji. It's too. It's so freaking sad. We have no money because I had to pay for things. I don't see how you couldn't have gotten money back since Adventurer was dead. I guess not. I mean, his family's got to have something, right? He died, right? You know. You know. Oh, quit rubbing it in, Aspa. I'm sorry about that. We should just be happy. The nor that nothing happened to me. Yes. Yes, we should, but now we can't party, and that's very sad. Damn castle adulting, right? God damn. Adir, Adir, you want to spend some of that muns here? You only got 15 seconds left. I can't hold this. I can't hold this. I don't know if it picks a second item for you, like, randomly or what. There we go. Time's up. Guys, not voting. It's not voting, you fund. All right, so my authority goes down and faith goes down. Okay. I was no, you Sturm, you are totally fine. You were dealing with it with pumpkin. You fucked up. You did fuck up. I think my net's okay. Now welcome back, Looney. Uh-oh, bankruptcy looms. Well, that's 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 an issue. What's the tempting offer? Hold on. Your Majesty, it has come to my attention that across the kingdom there are all manner of roads, bridges, walls, canals, and what do they all have in common? Uh, they're damned expensive to build. Exactly, Your Supreme Majesty. And yet they make you no money. Gotta get Kate to bed? No problem. You're fine. Oh, Raji, you're in. You're back in the patricians. Get my queen money so she can get married, right? I just want to marry O'Reed. Then we can rebel. I'm willing to take them off your hands, saving you the cost of upkeep and pay you handsomely in return. Ask your treasure. It makes perfect financial sense. Ah, uh, money, money, money. Sounds good to me. Indeed, your majesty. The treasury is not exactly looking healthy, and this would become would be a welcome cash injection. I can't work out why the patricians would be this helpful. It's suspicious. Perhaps we should call the council for a vote. Uh, I want money. I would like money, so. Oh, I could charge tolls. I could charge tolls. Um. But I will get money. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just, just let you guys vote. I'm just gonna let you guys vote. As a patrician, do I vote here? Yes, everyone votes here. Yep, the only time that voting is restricted by your faction is when it has to do with your scheme. And so it will tell you at the top, like what it will color code it. So when it's a council thing, any every noble can vote. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, OK, there it goes. That tipped it over. That tipped it over. Look, I want you to have money, but heck, the patricians. They've never won, though. They've never won, though. I got money. If these roads and bridges can pay for themselves, then surely we won't need to sell them off. That's the logic. Unfortunately, in practice, it makes everyone extremely angry. Soon, nobles and peasants alike are calling your on, for your head, uh, calling for your head on a spike. Listen, the only ones that are really pissed off are the patricians, and they're kind of the ones that are a problem right now. Um, trade war. What's going on here? Oh, no. Your Majesty, the Republic of Kurth has levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them, notably your refusal to send her O'Reed to their custody. Well, they can suck it. We don't need Kurth. They're our biggest trade partners by far, Your Majesty. Our economy is basically on fire now. Uh oh. Hmm. It wasn't a tie. It wasn't a tie. Uh, at the very end, two more votes came in. Oh my god, Blight? I'm sorry, hold the fucking phone, Blight? Oh my god! Oh my god, Blight! Hi! Hi! Oh my god, we missed you! We have missed you so much! Welcome in, Blute! Everybody give hugs and love for Blute! Hi, Blute! 
I'm so glad I procrastinated taking Kay to bed. Oh my god, Blue, we've missed you so much. I hope you've been well, babe. I hope you've been well. We've missed you so much. Hello, it me. It is. It's Blue. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You just made my night. You just made my fucking night, Blight. This is my last stream before I go on vacation. This is my last stream before I go on vacation. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome in, Blue. I hope you've been well. If you want to hang out and join us for King of the Castle, you are more than welcome to. Uh, right. Uh, what was, what were, I'm sorry. I got so excited by Blue. Doing heck and pee good. That's amazing. I love to hear that, Blight. How's everyone? We're doing great. We're doing fantastic. We're getting ready to go on vacation. Um, Sunday to, uh, to Sunday. So this is my last stream until the 15th. I'll be back for more hugs and lots of cookies. I have to put Kate to bed. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Gosh, Blue. I'm so glad to hear that you're doing well. Mrs. Fatal, go tell go tell Mr. Fatal that Blue's back. We miss Yeah, we missed you so much. We have so much going on in the Discord while I'm gone too. All the other mods are uh are are putting together um in events in the Discord while I'm gone. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. I think I like you're constantly in my thoughts because like I miss you and I hope that you're doing okay. So I'm I'm oh it's so happy to see you. Um okay uh right Kurth that's for the council to decide. Kurth must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will soon run out of basic necessities. <laughs> can't tell you how how it feels to not be at work. Oh, are you on like a break? If Fader doesn't believe me that Blue is here. Mrs. Fatal, am I uh, like can 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 Mr. Fatal hear me? Can he hear me? Like can he hear the stream right now? Because there is one for sure fire way to let people know. Um Blue, do your command. <laughs> oh wait, there he is. I was going to say there is one way to let to let uh, people know because only Blue can There you go. <laughs> only Blue can do his command. <laughs> is a Blue Everybody's so happy. Man, we 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 passed our, our hype train record and now Blute's here. Like, this has been one fucking hell of a week. This has been such an ex exciting and happy week. <laughs> okay, Someone's so... Someone's got a new follower. It's me. Go Zero, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Pizza to you? Oh, did you get pizza, Asba? Very nice. Okay, uh, what should be done in the face of Kurth's trade war? Uh, what should we do here? What should we do here? Again, I feel like because O'Reed is in this one, this should be the option, but it does lower the military and that concerns me. What do you guys think? What do you think? I was making a fun version of what Blue wrote pizza at 4 a.m. Oh, okay. Uh, Blue, welcome back, Coinify. Coinify? Point of fipe. Okay. All right. There you go. Listen, listen. Um, listen. She's she she's she's new. Okay. Okay. Ader, just bear with her. Okay. She's new. Okay. Finally worked. Yeah. It. I. I guess. I think. I think it's on a little bit of a delay. I know. I missed a few. I'm, I'm rusty. Need to get these fingies back up to snuff. But first, we troll coin. No, we don't need to troll coin. We don't need to do that. They did enough. No, blue. Surely there are better uses for our time Blute, Blute, do you remember the offline hype train, the level 14 offline hype train y'all did when you were trolling me that one time we passed that we passed that, we broke that record earlier this week so we're, we're okay you'll have to 
No Up one board the train, Charlie. It's gonna take us to the Banana King. I don't see any train. All I see is a giant sneaker. It's the choo-choo shoe, Charlie. The choo-choo shoe. Hurry, Charlie. It's about to leave. Chugga, 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 Why is there so much chaos right now? I don't know. We're already at a level four. We uses for our time. We're, we're apparently already at a level four. I just... Oh god, Blight, no, not you two. Not you two. Chaos, 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 chaos. Oh, I was expecting that to go on longer. I, I was expecting that to go on a lot longer. Um, unless, unless Fatal Why is there so much chaos broke right things. Right. Simmer down we and enjoy being are ridiculously back. I have awesome. the high ground. Do I amaze you? Okay, 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 okay. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, okay. All right. Queen always amazed. I am. Every single fucking damn day. You underestimate Chaos Brothers power. V, we have the high ground. We have the high ground. I hate it. I hate it so much. That's a copy pasta in my fucking stream. <laughs> yeah, every day she married me. That is true. That is true. I am amazed every day that I somehow roped that dude into marrying me. Somehow roped him into marrying me. I don't know how I did it. So please do not ask because I do not know how. But I did it. I did it. I did it. Chaos, 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 chaos. I think that part breaks. Never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. and smiles. And smiles. There you go, Booba. Yep, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, Booba was a, definitely a way that I, I tricked you. There's Booba? Yeah. Apparently there's Booba on my shirt, Blute. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Okay, are we are we done? Are you guys good? Have you got it out of your system? Are we okay? Yes. And outside of parentheses even? I know, I'm so honored. Like, y'all are being way too nice right now. You're talking about Booba outside of the... Outside of parentheses where I actually get to see it. Okay, um... I don't know what we should do in this situation. So... Um, you are totally done, Mr. Fatal. You are 1000% done. You are totes done. You don't need to do anything. Hold on a second. What did you just do? Guys, it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday for another four months. It is almost Squeaker's birthday, though. <gasps> oh shit, Mr. Blue money can't buy happiness. Look at the fucking smile on my face. Oh, well, there you go. Blue just joined. Where did Blue go? Oh, <gasps> so Blue's account. Right Coin, guess what? What's up? What's up, Fatal? What's up? Oh, you got the fancy! Oh, <gasps> yeah! You got the fancy! Do I amaze you? <laughs> it's not my birthday, Raji. No! Pick up my slack, blue, and I gotta go do house stuff. Yep, yep. Yep. Wow, 75k. Damn. 75k bits. Oh my god. I had to come up with an idea for what to do for the, uh, what's it? The 30, it's, uh, the 300k? I don't fucking know. I have a bit, like, emote that is unlocked that no one's hit, but, like, to figure... It's not my birthday, blue. It's not my birthday. It's not. It's almost Squeaker's birthday, though. If y'all want to hype for Squeaker, by all means, please hype for Squeaker. Yeah. Um. Okay, should I go back to the... Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to trust in the process. Um. 
I'm going to trust in the process because quite honestly, like I, I, I feel like bringing a read into it is the right option, but I don't know. And I don't know where to look. Like, I, I honestly, I just, I don't. Happy 450. All right. Uh, hold. No, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to do this on my phone. I can't type on my phone. I'm bad at it. I'm very bad at it. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, so if we do... King Happy of... B-O-R-F of days. Okay, all right, all right. All right, in the face of Kurth's raid war. Raid. Um, I wish that it told you. It does not tell you. Damn it, I feel like we were able to look this up for, um, for what's his name? F of days. All right, fine. I'll start the vote. Y'all figure it out. Because I honestly don't know what to do here. I'm just trying to marry this lady. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to marry her. I'm just trying to marry Oreed. Okay, we have a tie. Any other votes coming in? We do D. It's a chance we lose a read. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's fair. Okay. Um, so I have to pick here. No, that is true. If we send her in the Navy, that means that's her, like, she's fighting and there's a chance that something could happen to her. That is fair. Um. Let me weigh the cons, the pros and cons here. So let's see. We lower trade, lower stability. My stability is not great. So I, either one of these, I lower. Oh, wait, never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, there we go. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, it's time for critical role. Bye, babe. How delightful, Your Majesty. Let us, let's show these Kurth bastards what that we're made of sterner stuff. Oh look, it's blue! Oh, it's blue! Look, it's blue! Oh, blue! Look at you! Look at you, blue! Look at you! So after another month of sanctions, your nobles can change their tune. Uh oh. By the blood of the dead, we must give Kurth what they want. I'm bleeding money over here. Why should we suffer because of your grievances? Oh, wow, they're mad. Oh, they're big madge. Everybody big madge. At the very least, you take solace in the fact that Kurth is suffering too. The trade war continues with no end in sight. Well, shit, bankruptcy looms. Nah, I'm good right now. I'm okay right now. I had booked this meeting intending to discuss our financial woes, but you've solved the issue on your own. Congratulations on digging us out of a dismal financial pit. You're welcome. Damn, I forgot my boarding pass. I'll just walk. Guys, thank you so much for the level five hype train. Y'all are too generous. Appreciate you. All right, end the season. Um, back in the north, chiefs sit around a narrow table, their flagons running low after a long night of scheming and drinking. Ugh, that prophecy is starting to look like a bunch of hogwash. Why hasn't anyone turned against the church and that pompous archbishop? Give it time. The people are misguided, but Morgana will show them the way soon enough. The chiefs aim is to lower the fate to four or less. Well, they're working on it. They're working on it. All right. At the villa. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. To what do I owe this pleasure, Madam Treasurer? Oh, give it a rest. I know you know why I'm here. Let's just hurry this up, shall we? Where do I sign? Here and here and here. There you go. You've got what you wanted. Now give me the money. Of course. Goodbye, Madam Treasurer. Do my eyes deceive me? Was that the royal treasurer you were speaking with? 
Indeed, my friend, good news. With the queen's gold running out, the treasurer was willing to sell off the king's roads and bridges. Soon this kingdom will be ours, but what will we do when we own everything? All right, patricians, time for you to choose. Do you want to raise stability or lower authority? Look at Ludi's fab, <laughs> heckin' fab hair, my dude, right? All right, so only if you are a patrician can you vote here. You guys gotta hurry up. A would be in direct opposition to the counts. That is true. It would be. Vote C, install Sturm, stall is uh, install Sturm, in Sturm, stall. Oh my god. Install Sturm is king. Yeah, yeah, well. Well. Right now, I think the Count's uh, candidate is actually Adir's son. Alright, it looks like you guys are going for A. Raise stability, which is within, uh, yep. All right, we'll soon have the queen dancing to our tune. We just need to make sure the kingdom's in a nice, comfortable rut. The final stage of their scheme, the patricians must raise stability to at least five. Ooh, that's a tough line to navigate. Um, I'm poor, so we're just gonna make everybody madge. There we go, everybody's madge now. Perfect. Okay, needs to be nine or higher. Well, it is for the patricians. It's fine, Blue. Don't worry about it. It's fine. About your heir. Listen, um, the seeds of rebellion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But the money was for the peasants. It is for the peasants, Adir. I'm going to use it for the peasants. The banquet table at the palace is laden with food, ready for the day of kinship. As your advisors file in, you settle at the head of the table. The High Inquisitor is conspicuously absent. She was too busy for such frivolities. Well, fuck her too. Your Majesty, I sent out letters to all the nobles to wish them festive greetings. Uh, and to flatter them a lot. That's quite literally most of my job, actually. I did hope we'd do something on a larger scale. Um, I thought you'd approve of being frugal, or it's nice to get together and chat. Of course, Your Majesty, it's rather lovely. There's enough for me. What are the rest of you having? Please don't eat the entire banquet, Marshal. The Ninth God approves of restraint. Oh, fuck off, you killjoy. Who cares about restraint on the day of kinship, eh? We're here to enjoy ourselves. Um, to prosperity in the kingdom. Woohoo! While the others exclaim, the spymaster strolls out from behind a tapestry. Only the chief architect looks unsurprised. Oh, the old secret passage by that pillar. I read about that at university. Very skillfully done. I have returned. Welcome back. Is the banquet cookies? Because there's no restraint, only noms. Y'all aren't invited because I was too poor. It's only my inner circle. It's not It's not the nobles because I was too poor. I couldn't invite you guys. The spymaster inclines her head politely to him and settles down to tuck into the lavish dinner. A drink, your majesty. Uh, yeah, just one. The mood of the table grows merry, and you celebrate the day of kinship along into the night. As your energy flags, your guests yawn. It's your chance to bring back the party atmosphere. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Test of strength. Yes, let's see who beats me at arm wrestling. She sweeps the discarded plates off the table and sits down, beckoning the others to approach. She beats the chancellor, the archbishop, and the spy master in quick succession. Then it's your turn. Uh, go all out. You tense your muscles, bracing yourself, but despite your best efforts, the marshal slams your arm to the table. Ah, yes, I knew it. That is, uh, well played, your majesty. Going to bed lowers defiance. I don't understand why. I think it's just, uh, it, like, it ends the event. So... It's lowering defiance because it's like everybody's happier, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. The others congratulate her, except for the chief architect, who's busy mourning his sprained fingers. As the sun rises, it's time for bed. You fall into a long, luxurious sleep. Later, the chancellor informs you that across the kingdom, nobles and peasants have been busy celebrating the day of kinship, too. Parties always get people in a good mood. A resounding success. 
There we go. Works out. Uh, about your heir. Listen, I don't have one. You manage to refuse to get married against my advice. There's one more thing you're missing, however. Something more important than a spouse, an heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. Um, a child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh, I mean... I'm pretty sure I have a bastard around here somewhere. I am, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a, a, a bastard child around here somewhere. Um, yeah, there you go. Church won't be happy. I don't give a shit. Alright, Seeds of Rebellion. Well, shit. That's the fifth peasant I've had to send to the decapitator this week. <laughs> and just like all the others, she was trying to steal our gold and give it to the poor. <laughs> what do they need with gold anyway? Uh-oh, Adir, um, he doesn't mean that. Something is amiss, your majesty. Someone has been stirring up discontent amongst the peasantry. The peasantry, And I have reason to believe that it's the Count. <gasps> Why would the Counts stir up trouble with the common folk? The peasants' uprising is trouble, if not de-escalated quickly. The Counts will capitalize on the instability to install K uh, Katoka as queen. So we kill a few more and put the fear of the ninth into them. You must understand, this is exactly what the Counts want. It will cause chaos. Your Majesty, you must get a grip on the common folk. If the kingdom is stable, discontent will not be able to spread as easily. This will give me time to root out the conspirators. The kingdom could certainly be doing better. If things don't change soon, these protests will only get worse. Perhaps the council will aid you in this endeavor. I was busy rigging a poll. <laughs> oh, no. Um... You know what? Yeah, yeah. Everyone should chip in and pay for some new hospitals. Here you go. Everyone should chip in and, and, and pay for some new hospitals. Adir, look, new hospitals. Hospitals for the for the peasants. But 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 hospitals for the peasants. See, okay, Adir's with me. Adir's like, yes. Count Adir is very pro peasants. That's okay, Queso. I'm so sorry that you're having some uh, that you're having some pain. I hope you feel better soon. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time when we're back. Ah, yes. Pay for the hospitals. Everyone should chip in and pay for some new hospitals. Hospitals. Everyone loves hospitals. Ever since doctors stopped just waiting for people to die and instead tried to cure them, everyone has always wanted more hospitals. Everyone that is besides the nobles who usually have to pay for it. That totally works. But why should we have to pay for them? They're workers. Well, if they're dead, then they don't work very well now, do they? Back in the East, Count Adir has met with his co-conspirators once again. We've done it again, my good friends. The peasants are in an uproar. Riots are commonplace across the kingdom. I foresee no negative consequences of this. Hmm. 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 Other than the queen, of, of, of course. Of, of course, of course. Most pleasing, I am sure the queen is already cowering in her palace. Who knew peasants could be so useful? Now then, only one step remains. I have two proposals for the plan ahead. One way or another, we will push the peasants to turn violent. One way or another. All right. Um. Okay, counts. You are voting on what your next part of your scheme is going to be. Lower all farming or lower all trade. It's going to be difficult either way. Difficult either way. Trade is 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 the uh, the definitely the lower option of the two. Yeah, but it's still going to be a bit of a journey. All right. Devalue the kingdom's currency, spreading mass poverty. Wow, you guys are evil. Diabolical. Why, why you might even call it evil. Wow, Adir, I thought you said you love the peasants. Adir, what is this? No, it's for their own good. When you think about it, everyone will be better off with Katoka on the throne. Wow. 
With this final push, we will ensure the queen soon has more than just a few angry peasants on her hands. Benji, welcome in! The Golden Kappa. I saw that. I saw that was a uh, a thing in, in Mimat stream. What is a Golden Kappa hype train? What is that? I didn't... I've never heard of that, but I saw Mimat's tweet. Blue's account, Melodia. A rare type of... A rare hype train, kind of. So, like, what makes it... What... Like, I... I one person a day gets it, and it's a 24-hour emote. Oh, that's cool. Huh. The counts are basically the protagonist for from V for Vendetta that we have to bring the system down. <laughs> like, one person a day gets it. Wow, that's so cool. Congrats to me, Matt. Congrats to me, Matt. That's so awesome. And once the fighting starts, I'll be right there, ready to step in and negotiate. I only have, like, 11 hours left. Oh, I like the counts and all, but the cheats are where it's at. For the final stage of their scheme, the counts must lower all regions combined trade to 12 or less. That's actually not bad because it's only at a 14. Because the the chiefs are at zero. Um, Let's do... Let's do swing votes. Let's do that. I can work on that too. You can. You can. Yeah. 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 Can I please marry a reed? Oh my god. What's this? A fossil unearthed. Hi, Mrs. Fatal. Good news, your majesty. The new theater is proving wonderfully popular with the villagers. They do be good constructing a second stage area. Ugh. Though there is a small problem. While digging more foundations, builders found bodies in the rock. From the size of the things, the beast they came from must be larger than the theater itself. Uh, okay. Like a giant, spooky, scary skeleton. She lowers her voice. The builders are saying that it might be a... You know... A flying reptile. No one dares say the name these days. It's been 700 years since a... Dragon was seen in the kingdom, and back then it was catastrophic. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Oh shit. Uh, well, uh. When you look, I don't think she's a pirate. I don't think she's a pirate because there's a separate, there's a separate achievement for marrying the pirate queen, and there's an achievement for marrying a reed. So I don't think she's the pirate queen. I think she's just a criminal. I don't know who the pirate queen is. But I want that too. Um, I feel like we shouldn't mess with it. I feel like we shouldn't mess with dragons, Miss Melodia. Hervis is fatal. I don't. Is she the dread pirate Roberta? No, no. Unfortunately, decidedly not. Decidedly not. She is. She is very pretty though. Actually, yeah, B is probably the smarter option. You right. You right. Ups trade, lowers faith. Everybody's happy there. Oh, except for the, uh, except for the counts. But it's fine. You right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fine. Builders dig the bones from the rock. Soon, the huge bones are revealed. As visitors crowd the theater for a chance to see them, trade picks up. The majority of local plays soon feature a conspicuously dra draconic antagonist. Cro uh, crowbarred into the story. Ah, I see. But despite the rise in tourism, some northern locals are superstitious, treating the bones with fear. Some refuse to approach the building at all. Well, they're just being... Sissies. Further sanctions. What? Bad news, your majesty. The Republic of Kurth has not only expanded our sanctions, but has also cut us off from other trading partners across the Ghost Sea and beyond. We've been embargoed. Only the Isle of Sol continues to trade with us, but their economy is even smaller than the North's. Oh shit, that's at zero. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Yeah, I, uh, no, I. <sighs> Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go with swing vote so you guys can change your minds and vote for a different option while voting is allowed. We do have the yeah, we do have the money to be self-sufficient. Um, because y'all would be paying for that, not me. By the way. This is a lot. Because <laughs> we've never done this before. So it's very interesting. We usually give a read up, I think. All right, well, deepen our ties with Saul, apparently. Okay. I'm not changing. Yeah, you guys can you can change. I have swing votes on, so you guys can change your uh, your vote if you wish. Um. Hmm. Because I'm here for the chaos. Well, I get to choose then. So let's see, that would lower trade, which the counts are already there. Would up my authority, great, but it lowers stability. Lowers farming, which we might be able to, like, we can handle that. It would raise defiance, and it would take monies. Yeah, I think it might be better to just deepen the ties with Saul. So let's go with that. Unfortunately, Saul doesn't have much to offer. Their iron deposits are bountiful, but you can't eat iron. With time, perhaps this will lead to a prosperous relationship outside of Kurth's influence. Your Majesty, as part of deepening our two nations' ties, the Archduke of Saul has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. A word of warning. The groom is a finfolk, one of the denizens of the sea. It's a controversial union, but I've given word that you shall attend. Oh, okay, so this time we just don't try to bang him. That's fine. The chief architect bustles into your office, carrying an armful of parchment. Statues can be torn down, painted out. Oh, shut up. I'm not doing this. No. 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 Well, I went to university and everything. You can call a vote to discuss this outrageous plan, a mountainside carving your legless, and a lot of gold. No, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. No. I'm not doing it. It's an idea less just for fucking forget it. I don't I'm not doing it. Either the nobles can fucking pay for it or like I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Every time this just is a bad idea. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm just not. You can't make me. I'm not fucking doing it. What, Bloot? I don't want a mountain the shape of my face. I don't want a mountain the shape of my face. Why are you guys saying yes and you'll fund it? What are you doing? What? Chat. Chat. Are you for reals? Are you for serious in this moment? Yes, and the nobles will fund it? Really? Really? Wow. More coin, more better. Oh, God. All right. Well, like, all right, fine. We're rich, that's true, but now you're mad. Include other mountains as poop. Yep, there you go. With the council's approval, it's an easy enough matter to demand a tithe from your nobles. It doesn't stop them from grumbling, though. 
Planning starts in earnest, the mountainside is covered in scaffolding. You wait eagerly for news of the pro project's completion. The work is plagued by setbacks. The stone is harder to carve than anticipated. Storms knock down the scaffolds. A rockside erases much of the work that has been done. Hmm. Hmm. Only Mount Coinmore? Oh, jeez. Your Majesty, I have to admit that I may have bitten off more than I could chew. All right, this is a disaster. It can be turned around, I swear to the ninth. As the weeks roll past, it becomes clear that the Chief Architect's grand ideas will take a lot longer to come to fruition. Because he sucks. Okay, seriously, um, I'm still waiting for What's-Her-Face. I'm... Oh, Reed, where are you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it looks like somebody wins. Maybe we didn't send her to sea. That's the thing. We didn't send her to sea. You guys voted to escalate the trade war. That was my thing. I thought maybe that we were supposed to choose the options that had O'Reed in them. And we didn't. You guys chose to escalate the trade war. So maybe we should have sent her and the uh, and the Navy. Uh, the situation is becoming untenable, Your Majesty. A war is looming and or at least a coup. All right, can we have the spymaster deal with this? I'm afraid there's little I can do against this kind of enemy. We're not simply facing some disgruntled, easily assassinatable nobles this time. But the people of the kingdom itself have turned against you. They aren't merely trying to overthrow you. They're calling for the destruction of the monarchy itself and the proclamation of a new People's Republic in its place. They're led by a formal sh former shipholder, as I understand it, a woman named Layla. So kill her. It would only serve to anger the people further, and even if I did, another would take her place. It's not merely a conspiracy, it's a movement. Her family, then. She has no family, your majesty. Her parents died young due to the workplace-related injuries. Can't you do anything? Kidnap her dog? <laughs> I could do that, though I'm not sure if you really want to be known as Queen Coin II, the dog napper. <laughs> I don't pay you to question me, kidnap that woman's dog. Your advisors share a meaningful glance. It will be done, your majesty. <laughs> I really hope that at the end of this, it does call me Coin the Dog Napper. Your advisors mill out of the throne room, leaving you to brood days pass it to brood days pass in, pass in a blur. The rumbles of discontent spread like tremors across the capital. Even from inside the walls of your palace, the earth seems to shake with the power of promised change. Time drags on like a hot rake until the spy master enters the throne room with a small cage in her hands, as you requested. Um. <laughs> Excellent. I feel an, even, an evil laugh coming on. Indeed. Regardless, this will be the last job I carry out for you. Um, wait, this is where you draw the line? As a matter of fact, yes. I am quite alright with murder, in the right circumstances, but this is rather beyond the pale. You are a petty tyrant clinging to power with the last grasp of your strength. Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh-oh. She leaves the whimpering caged shih tzu on the table, then departs. Your other advisors look nervously at each other. I'm sorry, I've got, I don't, like, I, I love dogs, but I just, I, I kind of want to see it through to the end. I kind of want to see it through to the end just to see what the fuck happens. I think you have to <laughs> do it. Tell this Layla that I'll have her dog killed if she doesn't order the peasants to stand down. <laughs> yes, your majesty. But no reply ever comes. As time drags on, more and more people start disappearing from the palace. Nobles stop attending council meetings. Servants quit in disgust. Even your advisors seem to go missing. By the time Layla arrives at the head of a peasant mob right outside your gates, there's no one left to stop her. You sit and await her in the throne room, your st her stolen dog on your lap. The first time you regard this champion of the people, you can't help but think she looks like any other peasant you've dealt with during your reign. Perhaps there's a lesson there somewhere. Good night, little fatal. You don't have very long to consider it, however. Unhand my princess, you soulless monster. One step closer and the dog gets it. Everyone gasps, stopping dead in their tracks. You wouldn't. Before you can say anything else, you feel a sudden sting in the bite of your finger. As you yelp in pain, princess jumps off your lap and disappears into the crowd. The honor guard forms ranks around you, protecting you as best they can, but they're surrounded on all sides. Blood soars through the air, you cover your ears, but the war cries and death throes are impossible to block out. When everything comes to a quiet, your honor guard lay dead. The mob closes in. 
Kill the dog thief! No justice for animal abusers! <laughs> How dare you, fiend! This is great. It's great. I love this story. <laughs> uh, uh, fodal fetal position. Uh, shut your eyes. You brace, waiting for a well-timed finish. Fist, hammer, or spear to end your life. Wait. We can't kill her yet. She needs a trial, a public one at that. Uh oh. Um, you suddenly exhale. You're still alive, for now. You're hauled away to the dungeons to await this trial, which, of course, will be a sham. After all, who's going to act as a judge? That's usually your job. I think you just lost your job. I think I did to you. Uh, no, I think this counts. As, I think this is the counts. I think this is the uprising. So I think the counts win. You soon lose track of time down here in the gloom. You're not sure if it's days or weeks, but eventually the date of your trial arrives and you're hauled back above ground to face the sunlight and the roaring crowds. Queen Coin the Second with a K. <laughs> with a K. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Um, you stand accused of tyranny, high treason, extrajudicial murder, and politically motivated shih tzu thievery. Uh, I definitely didn't do the third one. How do you plead? Uh, innocent. You are immediately drowned out by the jeering crowd. Then you hear them chanting, Guilty! 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 The people have made their will known. Your sentence is death. The method of execution is the decapitator. Shit. You frog marched over to the decapitator without delay. After all, what did all these people turn out for if not a public execution? As your head is placed upon the block, you notice something. It's Katoka up on the platform with Layla and the other leaders of the uprising. Um... Whatever you do, don't listen to that one in purple. Nonsense. Katoka may be a noble, but she's a true revolutionary hero. None of this would have been possible without her. Indeed. Hurry this up, Layla. I tire of listening to this obsolete pig dog. <gasps> Trying to undermine our glorious revolution. Uh oh, it's Shunk. Shunk, what are you doing? He's hiding under the couch. <laughs> Does this mean there will be a president in the next reign? No, I doubt it. You silly English dog, I farted in your general direction. Oh, that reminds me, are, uh, Willie's hosting a Monty Python night um, in the Discord while I'm gone. Is it junk? Yeah, he's hiding under the uh, under the couch because Sturm's cleaning the litter box. I tried to call him out, but he's uh, he's he's hiding. I thought I saw like a flash of black go pat like pass in my perif in my peripheral vision, and it was him. He was darting under the couch. Um, the blade falls, the crowd roars, and your life comes to a sorry end. Yep. All right. The cows are victorious. Glory to the revolution. Queen Coin the Second's downfall became a cautionary tale for rulers everywhere in the years to come. Common folk across Celeste Ath were suddenly emboldened by a power they didn't know they had. The chiefs decided that the time must not have been ripe. The prophecy was quietly forgotten by all except the god speakers who waited for the right omens to arise again. The patricians' attempt to buy the kingdom ended in failure. Bankruptcies were filed, marks were scratched in secret ledgers, the risk-reward calculus was unfavorable. Perhaps next time. Shortly after Layla was proclaimed, pro, uh, proclaimed regent, um, she was quietly assassinated. Kotoka, a long-term supporter of the revolutionaries, was the obvious choice to succeed her. The common folk didn't realize their mistake until the monarchy was unexpectedly restored with Countess Kotoka at its head. There you go. It is Queen Coin the th the uh, the Hound Thief. I was called a dog napper. Okay, good. All right. Okay, good. I'm glad that we saw that to the end. I thought that was funny. That was good. That was good. I appreciate that. I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, damn. 
Well, damn. The royalty can win, but it's a tricky proposition. I've already won all of the uh, all of the monarch uh, things. Discord events throughout Queen's Week of Vacation. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, I know that we are a tiny bit early. I know we're a tiny bit early, but we can't really start another uh, another game. And I will be happy to take the uh, the rest of the evening because I have a lot of shit to do tomorrow. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it an early night. And we're going to raid out. The only question is, where am I going to send you guys tonight? You should I get your old golden armor drops. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Make sure that if you uh, that if you don't have the drops, make sure that you've got that you've collected them. Oh, let it a fly. Let the door open. Um, let me see. Where am I sending y'all? Um, let's see. I've got a lot of people playing Baldur's Gate. Um, which I don't want to see anything if I can one eventually hope to play it. Um. I know Thor's doing Boulder's Gate. Uh, we could raid Thor. Nerdy's doing more Boulder's Gate. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of it. Everybody's doing Boulder's Gate. What do you guys think? Where do you want to go? We could. I say let's do Nerdy or Thor. What do you think? Let's do Thor. I'm already been with Thor. Okay. I'm not rating critical role. <laughs> I'm not doing that. There's a drop going on for Baldur's Gate 3 for two hours of watching. Okay. Yeah, let's go raid Thor then. Because we raided Nerdy not too long ago. Oh, god damn it. There's an ad. Motherfucker. Well, I guess I'll just talk for a few minutes. Oh, and there's Twitch integration for Baldur's Gate? Inspect the streamers, party members, quest progress, and even vote on dialogue. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's cool. I didn't know that. Happy vacation time. I will. Oh, I will say, um, we are going to have a... Uh, we are having game night in the Discord tomorrow night. So um, we're going to start with probably golf with your friends. Fucking why? I'm going to find and murder that thing when I'm done streaming. Um, we're going to have game night tomorrow night. So we're probably going to start with... Uh, off with your friends and then we'll see where the night takes us and maybe we'll do like some cards against humanity i'm not sure but we'll see um but show up if you want to play do it doesn't matter anybody can jump in so if you're not part of the discord and you want to be a part of that please feel free to join um yeah so let's go ahead kidnap that flies dog i will i will will all right um i know that the ad is still in progress but i don't want to wait around so i'm gonna go ahead and set up a raid for thor so can we go ahead and get those raid messages ready please f raid if you're a follower s raid if you are a sub and let's get this ready thank you melodia and mrs fatal appreciate the both of you thank you thank you thank you all right so get those raid messages ready we're gonna go raid thor who is an amazing content creator Oh my gosh, um, they are just, they're so awesome. And uh, we love checking them out. They are doing Baldur's Gate 3. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna go raid Thor. All right, have an amazing, wonderful rest of your Thursday. Have an amazing weekend. I'm going to miss you guys so much when I go on vacation. Um, I will be back officially on the night for streaming on the night of the 15th. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I will be in Discord tomorrow night for um, for game night. And like I said, the mods have a whole bunch of events that are going on every single night while I'm gone. So if you'd like to participate in those, please check them out. Um, and big shout out, big preach to the mods for putting all of that together. Um, I really appreciate it, you guys. Have an amazing time. I'm going to miss you guys so much, but I'll see you when I get back. Let's go bring all this love to Thor. Have a great one and I'll see you next time. Situation that I got.